Hey, 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 Cancer, this is your sacred scribe here ready to do your Thursday, November 12th to the 13th, Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is for my Cancerians, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully you guys can get something out of this today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Cancer, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, info's down in the description box below. Uh, don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates with you and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or whenever I go live. I'm going to get a channeled message in just one moment, but first there's tarot. So right away you had um, you got four pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You had four cards come out. So you have the tower, the high priestess. The Queen of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. So let's get this message from Spirit and see what it's up for you, Cancer. They're saying Sacral Chakra. Your Sacral Chakra needs clearing. They're wanting you to think about all the things in your life that make you feel abundant. You feel abundant because they just said such and such. I feel abundant because of this, because of that. Uh, and they're wanting you to feel this abundance as you do this. Pay attention to more on the feeling than like, I don't know if it's a thing, right? Um, pay attention to more on the feeling. What's going on on the inside rather than the outside? They're wanting you to make some sort of connection with the word abundance, the feeling abundance, the concept of abundance. And then now they're showing me connect the dots. So do this in some, you're going to get some sort of message. Something's going to click in. Okay. Thank you. All right. So what are you holding on to? Okay. What are you holding on so tightly to? You're keeping, wow, some sort of shocking moment or at least a moment that is rocking your world right now, Cancer. You're keeping on the down low. There could be some confusion about this. It could be in relation to a Capricorn, or if not, if you have Capricorn in your chart, then it's about your stability. So let's see. Because this could be positive or negative, the tower. I'm sort of, hmm, tell me about the high priestess. Why are you keeping this on the down low? King of Wands. Ten of Pentacles and Queen of Swords. You're keeping on, on the down low because of some sort of family legacy I'm getting with the Ten of Pentacles. And there's other people involved that could be affected. You may have knowledge about something. Tell me about the tower. Because this Ten of Pentacles is happiness in marriage, right? But you've also got the um, King of Wands and Queen of Swords. So you may have cut something out of your life and not even told somebody about it. You could have ended a marriage with the Ten of Pentacles there and, and you're not saying anything in order not to disrupt the family, I don't know, dynamic, I guess. Nine of Wands. This is clarifying the tower. Okay, some sort of cycle is ending. Somebody walked away from something. This could be you walking away from a marriage, a family, or something. Okay, 
Um, or it could have to do with the Sagittarius because we have the King of Wands and the Nine of Wands here. But it is an end of a cycle. Somebody walked away. This could have been surprising or you could have surprised somebody else by doing this. Why did whoever walked away? Why did they walk away? Why? Ah, four of wands. Here we have marriage again. Foundation. It could be a twin. Hmm. Could have been a third party situation. Okay. It could have been a twin. This is celebration. It's like they're off to go celebrate. And I feel like it's with a third party. Okay, there was a lot of anxiety surrounding this. Either This is either you or them, whoever it was that walked away. So tell me about the Seven of Cups. Four of Pentacles. Three of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like you have a lot of options, Cancer. Okay. But some of the, but it's like, you, I feel like you know you have to choose somebody, but you want to hang on to somebody at the same time. I feel like you may want to hang on to more than one person. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Something is moving slowly towards you, though. I don't know if you know this. I don't know if you see this. Yeah, you're choosing between two. And one of these people could be at a distance. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. You could be receiving a message soon. But you're going to have to make a decision. So many people are in, like, decisive mode with all these options and love. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Wow. Wow. Power couple. It could be this Knight of Pentacles that you choose, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? I, I I feel like you do. Yeah, you put an end to a previous situation. This is the beginning of a new cycle here. Some sort of communication comes in, and that sort of seals the deal for you. It could be from this Knight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, so you start working on a foundation with this individual and working on building something that is going to last. How does this person feel about cancer? Oh, Ace of Pentacles. They feel like there is a great opportunity with you. They see you as a golden nugget here. Ten of Wands. They want to put the work in. They don't see it as work. And they feel like this relationship is worth fighting for. Or will feel anyway. If you, if this person hasn't come into your life yet. But this person is very grounded. Okay. They have a lot of passion with the Knight of Wands. Or you have a lot of passion. I don't feel that player energy. Could be a Capricorn with the Devil. The Fool card. You're going to be taking a leap of faith with this individual, but just be careful. There's a strong connection here, and there could be an element of toxicity if you're not careful. Okay, so let's get advice. Five of Pentacles. Be careful of how you're feeling. Yeah, see, this is that lack feeling. And wasn't Spirit's message about abundance? Yeah. If you're feeling a lack of love, no, 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 no. Stop it. Okay, look around you. All right, and appreciate. Through appreciation, this can be, you know, cut out, this feeling. Okay, replace this feeling with the feeling of appreciation, however way that works for you, because this is going to usher in this love. Lovers, again, though, is a choice, right? So they're saying make that choice so that way you can find peace. You can move on. The quicker you make this choice, Cancer, the quicker that you're going to find peace because you're moving on from a turbulent time here, okay? Things are changing. Things are transforming. And you're getting ready to begin again, okay? A fresh new start here, Cancer. There you go. Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck, Cancer right? Soulmate, twin flame energy. You're going to come together with this person. 
All right, Cancer, I hope this resonated. I hope it made sense. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Info's down in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a good day and I'll catch you on the flip side tomorrow. Cancer on the dailies. Namaste.